I started some seeds a little late, but not to worry because I'm going to make soil blocks. For my soil, I'm using some cocoa core bricks that I got from Dollar Tree because this is a really cheap way to stretch my seed starting mix. Supposedly you can just grow in the cocoa core, but I've never tried it. I usually use it as a mix-in. But this time I have very little seed starting soil, which was left over from the previous year. And to make the soil blocks, this needs to be wet enough to hold together when you squeeze it. This is my soil blocker. I have it up on my Amazon storefront in my gardening list. Link in profile as always. And I love it because my $25 or so investment is reusable every year. Advantages to starting seeds in soil blocks are faster germination rates, a much better root structure because the roots will air prune rather than coil, which leads to a sturdier plant, and it greatly reduces transplant shock. I like growing in these dome trays also on my gardening list. I label everything with painter's tape, and I like covering the little hole with a little bit of vermiculite, which I then wet down, so that'll hold the moisture against the seedling really well, and then I'll occasionally bottom water the trays here but the domes hold in the water so well that I don't have to frequently water them. When I just use the soil starting mix without the cocoa core, the blocks are a little prettier, but for the price, I'm happy. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and happy growing.